Alright, Spike, my algorithmically generated festival schedule has optimized a route to see all the best bands. Ah! No! Why? Of all things they could have done, they have Bulk Biceps wearing that outfit and it touches his uncovered skin that's not his arms. Not quite as bad. I would dare, like, in my opinion, it's worse, but I can admit other people wouldn't see that as quite as bad as the whole slather thing from the last one, but still, it's like. People, it has, there's very clearly more than one person it has, bro. Possibly three, five, ten, whatever, that worked on these things between writers, storyboarders, etc., etc., the half fetishes. Didn't give a crap. <laughs> It's not working! How are my decisions supposed to get off to my- That little bit of water ruined her freaking phone, but freaking Lurity literally had her phone out in the rain for God knows how many seconds, if not over a minute or freaking minutes, and it was fine. Oh no! Gross! It's not working! How are my decisions supposed to get optimized now? You've stumbled onto the path was planned for. How exciting! How excruciating! Maybe I could log on to someone else's schedule. Oh, you mean metaphorically speaking? Because we'd follow the passion of others to guide our. Uh. <laughs> uh. Planned for. Stupid How but funny. How excruciating! Maybe I could log on to someone else's schedule. Oh, you mean metaphorically speaking? Because we'd follow the passion of others to guide our experience? Hmm. Who should I follow? Others to guide our experience? Hmm. Who should I follow? Also, hey. Speaking because we'd follow the passion of others to guide our experience? Hmm. Who should I follow? The freaking sushi girl from the uh, one summertime short. I think it was X marks the spot, whatever it's called. It was the one that featured the char main characters. Or the characters, whatever, being Sunset, Pinky, and Twilight. This job, it's a death wish. I'm in. Watch the full trailer now. Thanks for letting us tag along, Microchips. <sighs> What's up first? <gasps> You're into MC Dex effects? I love MC Dex effects! Huge fan! Huge! You are? I'm... Nice screaming, I like it. I know everything there is to know. I... I don't know if they ever even had Pony Twilight ever scream like that. <laughs> With that rasp in the voice. <laughs> Not just the excitement. We even have the exact same 42-3C effects pedal for my MC Dex effects build it yourself theremin. Actually, MC uses a 42 double odd pre effects mixer. Did you know the MC stands for modulated computer sounds? One word! It actually doesn't. Trust me, I've read all her biopics, the original screenplays. Wait, her biopics? You think MC Dex effects is a girl? Just because she always wears a helmet made of recycled disco balls doesn't mean I can't tell. Is that supposed to be a play, a play on the fact that prior to pe it being much more common knowledge, people thought Samus was a dude until, oh, hey, it gets it at the end of whatever the first Metroid game was, and if you get beat it fast enough, you could freaking find out that Samus is actually female. Is that supposed to be a play on that, regardless of what gender this character actually is? Wait, her biopics? You think MC Dex Effects is a girl? Just because she always wears a helmet made of recycled disco balls doesn't mean I can't tell. Recycled disco balls. I guess we'll see. Oh, we will see. If she, if it actually is a she and not a he, that was absolutely a play on Samus. If not, at least that conversation of what she thought was supposed to be a play on Samus. He won't be. 
Okay, Tim, that's all he knew. I guess we'll see. Oh, we will see, won't we? Okay, how would you, when you're a dog, you probably can't even operate a cell phone or a computer. How could you know about someone that she doesn't? Or more about that? Oh, actually, maybe he would have wandered off and seen, I don't know. <laughs> so, Principal Celestia? Twilight Sparkle! How wonderful! I didn't know you did things. <laughs> I didn't know you did things. I mean, is that supposed to be a freaking... A freaking low-key shot or whatever shot at freaking Pony Celestia? Probably not. Or, oh hey, equivalenting her to Pony Celestia? Principal Celestia? Twilight Sparkle! How wonderful! I didn't know you did things. But not just me. The whole Star Swirl Squad's here, too. So, I mean, Luna being part of that, fine, that makes sense. But the other character that's part of this, does, one of these things just doesn't belong here. Uh, they gave him the freaking backwards hat from the freaking one short. We're original Star Swirlers. Been coming together since the fest started back in... When was it? <laughs> uh, I like all these shorts, but that's the first one that gave me a real damn good laugh. <laughs> <clears throat> Mr. Cranky Doodle loves his Electropop under the stars. <laughs> that and the secret falafel booth. There's a secret falafel book? It's not secret if you don't freaking splat it out, but hey, that's classic TV troping. Stick with me. We're old school. A paper schedule? From the OG rainforest. <laughs> I'm only teasing. I don't know where it's from. Okay. Like, I want to come up with a question for that, and I can't. Also, those just random letters below that girl face. Also, the thing with the mustache. <laughs> Looks like P, you can't tell that it's an I, but a P, I, B, A, and then whatever all the rest of the other crap is. The top one looks like random scholars, then it looks like L, E, and then like an A, like for cursive L, E, and then like an H or an L, whatever. Then an E, and then cursive S, E, E, L, O. Okay, so confirm that girl that was in that other short. The question, uh, uh, question is that Celestia's daughter. Confirm that actually isn't Celestia like I thought. You didn't have to give him all of your freaking that one type of food you had, whatever that specific sushi was, or whatever. Wow. <laughs> 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 uh, they actually did the old freaking. The trouble, old man. Oh, hey, you go to it right down, then you crack yourself. And they're on the hill that frickin' sunset and Rainbow Dash were on. Thanks for teaching me so much today. I should have you send me letters after every music festival. Tell Ta Nice and dear Princess Celestia reference. Thanks for teaching me so much today. I should have you send me letters after every music festival telling me what you learned, hmm? 
<laughs> just kidding. That would get old. <laughs> <laughs> okay, damn it. That was good. That may have been one of the best moments of hilarity, not the best moments of hilarity of all the season two EG stuff. Holy crap. Uh, oh, and then they even have her freaking do the classic Pinkie Pie slash TV troll break the fourth wall. How much today? Uh, that is too damn good. <laughs> I should have you send me letters after every music festival telling me what you learned, hmm? Uh... That did get sold. They stopped after, like, the third or fourth season of Fem. <laughs> just kidding. That would get old. I could text you? Hmm. Let's just forget it. <laughs> <laughs> That was freaking good. At Oakland University, being golden is about Definitely more one of the best choose your own ending shorts that there has Thanks, been to the whole thing. I may end up finding out uh, like others I like better when I end up re watching and react doing the react videos to the EG season one stuff. Also, girl in the background sitting on the rock. For letting me come along to whatever this is. Aren't we gonna miss your band? Almost ready. Just taming a few last baby flyaways. Fluttershy, for letting me come along to whatever this is. Aren't we gonna miss your band? Almost ready. Just taming a few last baby flyaways. Don't know what the heck that's supposed to mean. I like it, but I don't know what it's supposed to mean. Maybe flyaways, other than, of course, the one obvious thing you can conclude, and that is, oh, hey, funny little bug thing or whatever because of her thing with animals. Tote bag, please. Ugh, yikes. What you got in here, osmium bricks? Smells like bones. You think everything smells like bones. Tut. Also, foreshadowing nails. Oh, wait, she carries it? Oh, you did your nails? <laughs> One, love the bass music. Two, love the design. Number three. Oh, you did your nails? Number three, this design for Fluttershy is not something that's new or it's, it's, it's somewhat of a redesign. It's straight up pull from Vignette's look for Fluttershy from uh, Roller Coaster of Friendship. And Equestron said it in his one react thing or whatever. I don't know how you managed to mess up Fluttershy, uh, Punk look for Fluttershy, but you managed to do it, Vignette. I hardcore disagree. This is a damn good design. <clears throat> I smell bones. Brutal skulls, fellow cruncher. You too, fellow cruncher. The last one that I watched is the one with the teachers, the Sars World Gang thing. That was the best one on hilarity, but this one's still my favorite. Freaking love Goth Water Shy. I told you I smell bones. Sadly, having to say it's contrary to freaking Questron's opinion. Brutal skulls, fellow cruncher. You too, fellow cruncher. Oh dear. Um, so after we went to Equestria World, Vignette introduced me to this band, Skull Cruncher. Yes, I know, it seems brutal, but their lyrics are surprisingly poignant once you get past all the skull crunching. <laughs> You're thinking I need more makeup? Or that I'm weird? Is that it? No! Thinking, I need more black nail polish. <laughs> and we haven't even turned on the skulls. Whoa, pretty. I mean, pretty brutal. Again, even though it didn't make me laugh, like the last one did, like a mother effort, and I would still say the last one's the best that I can remember for any of the EG shorts, especially the frickin' Choose Your Own Any Ones on Hilarity. That one's still my favorite of these specific three. Up. Uh. 
Okay, so I'm holding off on these others for now. I wanna, for myself, wanna watch through uh, backstage pass and done my favorite moments video from that and other things before I actually get to watching these. And after this session, which I'll probably end up splitting this into two videos. Uh, actually, I almost guarantee I'll be split up, but it, splitting this into two videos. Um, uh, the next video I do will be me reacting to, oh, well, first up, it'll be having these up, and, like, maybe one or two, at least one or two other videos, as well as, uh, reacting to Monomalouses and, uh, Equestrons, everything wrong with, and then Equestron, everything right wrong with, uh, Backstage Pass. But before that, the next thing you guys will see from me in the EG content is re-watching re or reacting to the EG Digital Series 1. Then after that, the next one will be that video. Oh, it's right there. It's M-O-L-I-M-I-N-O-U-S. Molinemius. I, I, I know I still butchered it. Not as bad as I have been, but... I say I'm anomalous because that's how I've been saying it, even though I have known for some time, quite some time that that's hard, bad mispronunciation. But anyway, now it's time for Let It Rain, which is yeah, don't forget takes, about my new which takes yeah, place after Dicks Backstage Pass. Have you heard of Dicks.com? Have I heard of Dicks.com? <laughs> Love this song. It is so damn good. The vo vocals and interpretation, especially the vocals, are a freaking banger. And obviously the lyrics too, but seriously, this is such a good song. It's alright, yeah. I'm walking right beside you. Like, this is such a, between the visuals, the stuff you're seeing on screen, the aesthetic, the rain, everything about this song, so damn good. Don't be afraid, down. The rainbow effect. Okay. Rebecca is such an important part of not just Sunset, but a bunch of MLP and EG stuff. Because she does the sing has done the singing for Twilight since the first season, int the intro for the beginning of FIM. She's been such a key part of all the years of MLP EG. <laughs> She's such a damn incredible talent. Wallflower. And not um, uh, in addition to all the things that I said, when it comes to the lyrics themselves, it's a damn good thing. Like it means, oh hey, a literal. It, like it means literal and also metaphorical as well. Like the literal, oh hey, rain, let it in. But also like the metaphor of, oh hey, you gotta get through tough times in life and be able to use them to grow yourself better as a person. Like j just everything that, about the song in this music video is too damn good. And what's stupid is for some reason I don't know if they deleted the video private or what, but. I don't, to my knowledge, I don't know, outside of maybe being in compilation, the weird random compilation videos they do on the official MLB channel, that, that, to my knowledge, there's never been a standalone video of this on the official MLB channel. There had you been at one point, but I swear, unless I'm wrong, I've never actually seen it. This it was available on that channel by itself as a standalone video, not let up, I'd have the MLP version of the video up instead of let up does. Sun 
I seriously love the outfit and the flower for wa the Eve Wallflower. You know, like seriously, man, but everything about this song and this music video is freaking chef's kiss. It's all right. Gotta freaking love hair wet, hair uh, hair wet and down derpy, especially with that little bit of extra color, whatever they put in their hair as well. I don't know if that. I don't. They, that's what I think it's supposed to probably be. Probably supposed to be part of her hair is colored differently than it, than her normal blonde because you that orange and yellow that's supposed to be like a probably like a flower petal like accessory, not like an actual flower, akin to the one that's in Wallflower's hair. Also, love the hippie girl. Break down. There's sun behind those gray clouds. You know, I can't lie. Freaking damn vehicle outside blaring music. Go away, you mother freakers. Seriously. It's all right. Ah, uh, sigh. Everything feels like it's just too much, but you gotta let it in, even if it's... You gotta love her smiling there and how mu how into her freaking playing and singing she gets into this, too. Better, better. Weather, weather. Also, I love hair wetting down Lyra and Bon Bon, too. Like again, everything about this music video slash song, Chef's Kiss. I can't praise it enough. Like seriously, the storyboarders, writers, Daniel Ingram, all, all parties that worked on this knocked this one out of the park. You like see it, the pink, I think it's supposed to be the blue part of her hair is actually colored, but the oranges, that's obviously supposed to be an accessory. And it makes it look like the pink is also supposed to be part of the, it, that orange. It's all one thing in an accessory, but it's very possibly supposed to be just more coloring of the hair, just like the blue. I'm not sure. Wallflower. <clears throat> also, the cat's on top of the dude's head. The security guard guy. Let it rain. <sighs> Still got a bunch left. Son of a crap. There's Cosmic Conundrum, that music video, Ant Socket to Me, and then Tip Topping. Whatever, I'll be busting this out. Maybe being two 50 minute videos, and I'm alright. Well, if that's the case, as long as my freaking hard drive actually has enough space on it for those two. Ugh. Really hope you got on to restart my crap because of this. Also, a nice and flutter about reference, but I don't think they actually do anything with that beyond this beginning. Also, they ever playing the video game from the thing, didn't remember that. Don't be jealous, but I have been invited to an exclusive costume party at both Bicep's house! Oh, good. Yeah! It's gonna be awesome! 
nervous? Well, I'll go together, Fluttershy. It's not that. It's just the party's in a few days. Also, confirm, freaking, I'm just now realizing, confirm, freaking, not nah, what she just gave me with the headset on, confirm, Fluttershy is an absolute, actual, like, YouTuber, YouTubing gamer. It's gonna be awesome. Uh, don't be nervous. Well, I'll go together, Fluttershy. It's not that. It's just the party's in a few days, and I have no idea what I'd wear. Oh, don't you worry about that. I got just the thing. I'd be more than willing to help you throw together a dazzling ensemble. I'm thinking something real spooky. Hmm, who should I ask for help with my costume? <sighs> Why does Let Up do not freaking have the dang actual thingy? Or let it play out. Of our outages each year. So we provide a vegetative meal. I'll be wanting program. to freaking look that up. <laughs> I guess after a quest drawing, I don't want to have to have it be then. I'm thrilled you're willing to do this with me, Fluttershy. <laughs> I tried to use this costume ages ago with Sunset Shimmer, but she just wasn't into it. Uh, what is it? <laughs> Here, what'd you think? Ain't she a beaut? Are those two? To okay, I have to say. Also, they have Lara and Bomb on have their freaking outfits from that one crazy short from. It's either the summertime shorts. I think that's what it's from. If not, it's the uh, EG season one. Also, they have Derpy with the bag over her head. Is that supposed to be a reference? I'm sure it's not. It's kind of more far fetched, but it's supposed to be a reference to freaking Chester's dad from Fairly Op Parents. Fairly Op Parents. Or maybe a Charlie Brown reference. <laughs> it, yeah, freaking. I mean, the thing I was going to say before I noticed Bon Bon with the owl outfit on is I was going to say freaking Rarity is adorable in that. <laughs> also, freaking crazy straw. Ew. I hope. Like, seriously, that's too adorable. <laughs> Here, what you think? Ain't she a beaut? Where are those two? I hope Fluttershy didn't get cold feet. The only thing these feet are doing is getting ready. Oh, it's even in the thumbnail. For some reason, Sunset wasn't into it. I can only imagine why, AJ. Are the also, that's supposed to be her. It's all, oh, hey, AJ, is not into it. She didn't want to get into it. She wasn't into it. Those two. I hope. Also, you can't see him Here. too as well as I'd like to be able to show him off because he's blocked by others. Hopefully, it's a better shot either in this or one of the other stores. But gotta look. Okay, I couldn't pause it when I where I wanted to, but still, they have freaking gotta love. They have freaking bulk biceps dress up as a Spartan. Those two. I hope Fluttershy didn't get cold feet. The only thing these feet are doing is getting ready to cut a rug. <gasps> To shy. I'm sorry she's putting you through this. Actually, Rarity, it's nice. It's easier to relax when no one can see me. <laughs> what I tell you? Ah! A good friend? Always? Actually, Rarity, it's nice. Also, like, not even being funny, it's literal. They have Applejack being the ass. <laughs> easier to relax when no one can see me. <laughs> what I tell you? Ah! A good friend always has your back. Uh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> what I tell you? Hey, costumes aren't supposed to be able to do that. Ah! A good friend always has your back. Uh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you apologizing to them? It's Boss House, apparently. Allegedly. The two most important days in your life are the day you are born and the day you find out why. Oh, oh hey, Rar the return of Rarity's glasses. Oh, Fluttershy! I can't wait to make you something truly breathtaking. <laughs> now hold still for the next several days. Next several days, the party's the same night or the night after. Oh, 
you are darling. You've outdone yourself. We're ready. Oh, I said darling, didn't I? Oh. What the hell? Rant, I, mean, I like it. It's funny, but random. Every time you say darling, you gotta put a quarter in the thing akin to a curse jar. What? <laughs> <laughs> so freaking random out of the blue out of nowhere. That is a Pinkie Pie moment. <gasps> Rarity, darling, you've outdone yourself. Rarity. Oh, I said darling, didn't I? Like, darling is a curse. Oh. <gasps> I look like a princess. Okay, love it. <laughs> Indeed. Now, we still have to find something for you to wear. Uh. Huh? You made this for yourself? Oh, don't worry. You can wear one of my... What is this old thing? What? This old thing. What do you call that? They're beautiful. What? This old thing? They don't actually show them going to the party. Why? That's disappointing. <laughs> I liked it, but still, that's disappointing. Okay. Let's get started. Also, oh hey, this is the journal I used to contact Pony Twilight. Let's just throw it out. <laughs> Who cares if we damage if I damage it and that it can't be used anymore? I have to get another one from her. Okay, let's get started. <laughs> Get started. I don't know if that's a vegan control or what. Okay. I need to bring slow this down. Let's get started. Must see items. It was a game controller. Horseshoes. <laughs> Moly pizza. Nice and TV trope. Uh -huh. Here it is! <laughs> Not too scary. Not scary enough. Can't picture you as a bat. Can't picture you as a bat. Ha ha ha. <clears throat> now this I can work with. Hey, Trixie, why wasn't she in either of the previous ones? That she had them at the party. Now this I can work with. <laughs> also, freaking microchips. I love that the one artist girl, whatever, is a freaking cowgirl. Hey, Sunset! Nice costume! Come on in! If you think this is good, wait till you see. Ah! Monster! Ah! Monster! Where? Ah! <laughs> <laughs> you made it into Flutter's eye! I told you this was a great costume. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, this is super quiet. Uh, I'm sure I'll like what's in the background, but the song, meh, 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 because Flash Century sings it. Maybe I'll like it better the second time, and because I don't remember it, we'll see. Apologies, it would be too much louder than my freaking voice for, if I talk during the dang thing, because this is so quiet for some stupid reason. Okay, I like the singing, but already you know, not massive yet, but definitely think it's gonna end up being cheesy. Gotta make sure. 
Okay, anyway. Um, let me see this. I'm surprised they're actually doing that. Roll back, anyway. Leading ladies, I'm happy where I stand. Cause you're the superstars and I'm the super fan, yeah, yeah. Uh, it's, again, not like super duper spectacular, but a damn pretty damn, uh, de definitely decently above average singing. You're my heroes, you've got the master plan. So into you, I'm just here to cheer you on. Okay, definitely liking it so far. I remember not liking it, so I'm definitely somewhat happy. I don't know what else to say. Also, Rose Luck. Someone you can't count on. I live to cheer you on, on, on. The supporting man in your world for a fresh girl. Okay, I did not at all remember this being good, because if, if I if I remember this being good, I would absolutely have already done faster, higher, slower, lower videos for this in the past. I do have to say, I was expecting cheesy, and I'm not finding that here. I'm liking it. Very surprised. Even with how uh, Girl Zero Zero is really, but is this, like again, don't know if there was Joe going for that or not. The freaking uh, uh, trying to think of the name of the classic rock band, Guns N' Roses. Also, yeah, somehow mutant freaking thing. Like, how does that even work? Get big. Freaking Nugget Chips, freaking quote unquote pet, and it got super big. Also, I like to think that this is supposed to be somewhat, uh, if not very akin to uh, the Slice of Life film episode where the main six were flipped and where I see the background characters and there were like two or three instances where they showed them fighting the bugbear. Stupid damn vehicles all the way. Okay, I did not remember. I did not remember them having freaking. Uh, I can't remember his name. Damn it! Freaking rapping. Timber Spruce, or no, not Timber Spruce. That's the dude from the freaking fourth movie of uh, Legend of Everfree. Damn, I'd say, it sucks right now. I'm blanking on the hippie dude's name. I can't remember his freaking name. Okay, any freaking way. Hate that I cannot remember the name.
man He is the one, he'll never be fake Friendship forever, bonds he don't break F is for freedom, R is for rare I is inspired, equestrian, yeah And never ending, D is for dreaming Don't stop believing, he'll always be there I'm just trying to cheer you on I am happy to say they did the they they did this whole thing is especially Flash Surgery singing damn good justice. Like I I don't know how the hell I did not like this in the past. Interesting they did the regular freaking thing like they do then to them episodes. One, one, two, three. Let's get a closer look. I just saw I'm gonna go right now, hopefully freaking find it. Uh let me see here, Google. Why? Okay, finally. <sighs> Stupid damn crap. Like, seriously, why? on the team because of sock. Yeah, who needs socks? <laughs> Ten minutes, I can't find my monkey sock! You're not the best player on the team because of some sock. Yeah, who needs socks? Maybe 